Hey there YouTube, sorry. Right, so we're going to do an overview of the ASRock C790PG Lightning. PG, I uh, should stand for uh, Phantom Gaming. And then for $200, folks, we're going to go look at Z690s and see what we could get. Can we get something better for our $200? All right, so let's open this up. So this is a uh, DDR4. This does have PCIe 5.0, so as we're you know, looking at the Z690s, if that's something important to you, uh, hopefully we'll find a, a match over there. Better quality brand, we'll say. Uh, so it has two full-size PCIe's. One's the 5.0, and the other one should be a 4.0, yeah. Uh, as well as three of the smaller PCIe 3.0 by ones. Um, let's go ahead and pull this up, this view. So much better heat sinks on this one than the last uh, Z790M that we looked at by ASRock. Four DDR4 RAM slots, 24 pin power connect. This is coming from your PSU to power up the uh, motherboard. Looks like we're going to have a lot more case fan headers than the last one. Two sets of uh, 1x4 or 1x8, excuse me, CPU power connectors. Of course, this is your uh, CPU 12th and 13th gen compatible. USB 3.2 header, USB Type C header. All the both of these come from your case to um, you know your front panel on your case should either have USB 3.0, 3.2. Basically the blue ones, right? And then the Type-C would be here. We have, looks to be RGB, ARGB. Let's jump back up here. So here is your CPU fan. This looks to be the optional case fan header, case fan header. So at least two case fan headers. Here is another USB 3.2 header. And then this has four SATAs. In this area, folks, we have our front panel connectors. And then, looks like we have two USB 2.0s, two more case fan headers. And this gets a little hard to see what we're seeing, but uh, I would assume we've got RGB and ARGB in this area. HD audio, and then another fan header over here. So we have a total of four Gen 4 M.2s, one under this heat sink, one here, one there, and then another one here. So that's pretty good. I, I definitely like that. I like the overall look of this. Now I'm always slamming on ASRock, had some problems with their quality. Uh, the fact that half the time they don't do BIOS updates uh, sometimes leave you, you know, just leave you in the dust on uh, updates that you should have got that they don't do. Now, what else, folks? That's about it as far as what I see on the motherboard. CMOS battery right there. And, of course, this PCIe 5.0 is armor-plated. What was in the box? Manual. M.2 screws, so they give you a, uh, one extra one, it looks like, unless there was an M.2 Wi-Fi that I missed. Yeah, M.2 Wi-Fi, so you need five M.2 screws, two SATA cables. All right, let's look at this. So, don't know why, but some people like PS2 uh, mouse keyboard connectors. You got that there. Looks to be a total of six USB 3.2 Gen 1s. Got HDMI, no display port, so that kind of sucks. Type C, USB 2.0, 2.5 gig LAN. Not sure why this looks like shit like it does, but this is where your uh, your Wi-Fi would be if this thing has Wi-Fi. Line in, line out, microphone. Let's go back and take a look at this thing. Is it supposed to have Wi-Fi? It has the holes, but uh, there is no nothing shown there. So 
they probably use this this has the uh, attached IO shield they must use this for a higher end model you would see AC or AX or something but uh, it does not appear that it has Wi-Fi so that kind of sucks um, let's be honest all right, so now let's go down here. Speeds up to 5333. Doubt too many people will buy this motherboard and put 5333 in here, but maybe you will. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm usually not wrong though. I don't think too many people are gonna. So yeah, the mini you have the uh, mini M.2 Wi-Fi, and usually that means there's no Wi-Fi. Uh, so let's go look at. As rock, excuse me, new way you can see what you can get Z690 for $200. Okay, so this is somewhat similar motherboard, doesn't have the built in IO shield, uh, probably not PCIe 5.0 either. This guy is so here is probably a cheaper alternative for 50 bucks that uh, you know you may end up happy with if you need PCIe 5.0. Um, 14 plus 1 power stages. Not that that means anything, but does this say how many it has? 14 plus 1. Okay, so maybe similar. But this, you know, 50 bucks here may be the way for most of you to go. Now, what I would say is you can probably find Wi Fi for under $200. Stay away from the ITX and the open boxes. MSI Pro. So this is on sale. This would be another good alternative. I don't believe this one has PCIe 5.0 though. And it says it does. Oh, all right. So that's an alternative. You can save some money on that motherboard, and it's just about the equivalent. Let's get closer to $200, though. We want Wi-Fi, folks. Box. So this guy has Wi-Fi. I actually have this motherboard, except for uh, the previous owner damaged the PCIe slot here. But this, you know, might be an alternative for some of you. Yeah, PCI 5.0. So this would be a much better motherboard. You have four M.2s as well. Um, whether it looks as nice, you know, potentially they're, they're a draw in that aspect, right? I think they look about the same. MSI is better quality than ASRock. Now, what I would suggest, folks, is one of these guys. Um, this should have Wi-Fi. Even though I'm starting to think it doesn't for some reason. Yeah, this one does not have Wi-Fi. Um, but this is much sportier looking. I definitely like this more. I'm not sure why it doesn't have Wi-Fi, but uh, I still would pick that over the Z790 that we're looking at. Then you got this, right? This one does have Wi-Fi for 180. Now, what is how many M.2s? I think it's only got three M.2s. So if that matters to you, then you might not want to go here. But uh, does this have PCIe 5.0 as well? So potentially better power stages, PCIe 5.0. And has Wi-Fi. Definitely save twenty dollars and get that one. I would say. And these are Asrock. These are higher end Asrock here, folks. Does this have built-in Wi-Fi? So these are pretty sharp looking. These extreme ones. I've never bought anything higher than say one spending one eighty on a Asrock motherboard. So. Um, when these first came out, they're really expensive. This had been a good motherboard to get if it wasn't for its open box. Gaming X. This one doesn't have Wi-Fi. No Wi-Fi. And if 
folks, that's going to do it. I'm surprised they top out, tap out at 199 here. But uh, yeah, thanks for joining the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.